Hey, welcome back to another episode of Dylan's Garage. Project before us, we have received a free uh, John Deere lawnmower. So let's have a closer look at it. All right, th first thing you may notice is the hood is off of it. I don't know what shape it is in. You can see it's pretty cracked, uh, busted by whoever had this previously. What they told me was it didn't ever start when they needed it to. Um, it sounded like an electrical, electrical problem, maybe some kind of safety switch that was prohibiting it from uh, being able to start. But we'll look into all that. Um, you can see the seat's pretty ratty. The top tin is pretty uh, broke up. Um, I did notice it was missing uh, the rubber brake that went over here. And it's missing the chute that uh, expels the grass clippings out the side. Um, the other thing that it had is this back tire. It, this back tire kept going flat. So I bought a can of tight seal tire repair and shot it in. And I think it was sitting flat because it cracked all along here. And air bubbles were coming out of here. Um, so I drove it around and let this sit for a while and I no longer see or hear any air and this tire, uh, remained up for the day. So that part was nice. All right. So when we get on this thing, push the brake pedal in, turn the ignition, nothing happens. And I think this is the problem that they were having. So let's get into this. So here's the safety switch under the seat. I don't f see any physical brakes in the line, but that doesn't mean the switch isn't bad. All right. If it's not the seat switch, the other problem where these usually go bad is this automated uh, clutch engagement for the mower deck. Um, one thing about them, uh, they will not let you engage the starter if the mower deck is engaged. So, nothing. Oh, hey. Ah. Sure. If you play with this switch and get it in the right position, the engine will crank. So, I think the first thing we need to do is uh, get a new one of these switches and replace it. All right, so I went on eBay uh, about $15 later after shipping and charging. I got just a generic mower deck on-off button. You just pull it and push it. Very simple. It's got eight ports on it. So we're going to have to see. Hopefully they match up exactly with the ones that are in the mower right now. So let's get at it. All right, let's get down here and look at this thing. All right, here is... The switch, it looks like it's just a gang. Yeah. And if you look at it, there's a plug missing, just like the one that we have. All right, let's just test this out, make sure it fits. Perfect. All right plugged in. Now this should turn over immediately. Beautiful. All right, let's see if we can get this out. By the looks of things, uh, it's got these clamp feet that got to get pushed in. There you go. Take this back off. Um, there is some writing on it. We'll just go this way. Fits perfect. Just test it again. That 
was an easy fix. Let's move on to the next piece. All right, under closer inspection, here's a few tabs. And it looks like these tabs have been broken off. There's some kind of plastic underneath them. Let's look at the bottom of this tin here. This is garbage. That's not going to be able to be saved. So I'll throw that away. Now let's get under this piece. I've looked this piece up. It's quite expensive. Um, they want a couple hundred bucks for it. So definitely want to reuse this if I can. Um, so it doesn't look like anything is broken off underneath here. There is this piece broken off, but it doesn't belong to here. So hopefully, um, same here on this side. Hopefully we can replace this piece and uh, have this good as new. Uh, so I imagine, you guys can't see. This has got to be for a headlight. And it would go into there, my assumption. Free wire for the headlight. Um, these things probably go in here for a pivot. Oh, and even in here, if you can see, daily service required. How often do you think this thing has been uh, serviced in the last few years? Not a lot of TLC. All right, let's. Uh, take these broken pieces off and then move on from there. Pop these out. More screws in that piece. All right, so that's what we got. This is what we took off of there. Now let's see what we can do to replace it. All right, through the magic of editing, this is what we bought. I got it on uh, Amazon. It was about $80 with shipping and handling. So let's see what she looks like. Huge improvement for uh, 80 bucks. I'm still a little curious about these two tabs here. I wonder if there's like a lower cowl that goes on here. We'll have to investigate that a little bit later. All right, let's look at this uh, brake pad a little bit. Um, 
this I did not get anything it looks like there might have been a little glue or something sticky on here before I was able through the magic of eBay to procure another one it was like seven bucks plus shipping and handling so really nothing to it oh, need some persuasion and the perfect persuasion a brand new uh, rubber mallet from uh, Menards. I think this was free with my purchase, so. good it ain't coming off makes you wonder how it ever came off in the first place but it, the one probably cracked and broke off so how about we move on to the seat next it's not in very good shape um, looks like somebody put a washer in here probably to hold it from falling off I was able to procure on Amazon this seat here, an off-brand, but uh, I paid $120 for it, I believe. So let's uh, see what's going to take to put this in. Looks like uh, we got a few bolts that go through here. Um, probably the pressure sensor goes there. Let's look back at this one. Yep, here's the pin that goes through, and we'll need to take this off here. All right, let's get at it. All right, let's see what it's going to take to get the seat sensor out. Looks like it needs to turn somehow. See what this thing is? That's all it is. Looks like this can probably stay in there. All right, that's so. Nice John Deere emblem. Yeah. I'd like to save it, but I don't think I can.
right. Now let's make sure she still turns over. All right, we're good there. All right, the next thing is, uh, let's look at the oil on this. Yeah, it doesn't look too terribly bad. Not bad at all. Somebody has recently changed this oil. So I guess we can skip this step. All right, we're going to leave that oil in there. Save the filter and bottles that I got for uh, next year. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try this new hood out. See how she works. Nice. Let's back up on this and get a good look at it. Look at that. <laughs> Makes it look almost brand new. All right. And the one last thing that I got for it, I got a new chute. But when I look at it, it's too small. This is for the 42 inch. And uh, after a closer inspection, this is a 48 inch deck. So I'll have to get a new chute. Uh, and we'll come back to this at that point. Um, now the deck does look a little... Let me... It's down here. Let's uh, look at the deck as far as how flat it lays. Take you out of the holster. Um, let's see here. And it looks like about three there. So then the question is, why is this deck so wonky? I'm going to put you down and kind of investigate it a little bit. So I set all the depths to be two and a half holes sticking up, or roughly that. You can see that back tire is still off the ground. Under closer inspection, I don't know if you can see it, this rod is bent right here. And if we get right down flat, you can kind of see where it dupes down. We go around to the other side. The front tire is a little off the ground. So I think the next step is to try to straighten that bar and see where that gets us. Alright, we took it out, and you can see how bent that is, so um, I guess I'm going to try to straighten out. I'll take everything off of it.
you know how bent that is. I'm gonna go try to straighten it. All right, I put this around some metal and uh, pulled on it and bent it. Pretty straight now. I like it. Let's put it back together. You gotta go over it first. Well, that gets me a little ways on. All right, let's go with that. Simple as that. Let's go check out, just change the level any. So those tires are flat on the ground. That one is way up. I do declare I think the deck is bent. Might need to put some persuasion on it. All right, after further inspection, see how this is going down at an angle? At some time, this was ran into something and bent it in, bent the deck down here, and gave it the twist that's making the deck not uh, lay flat. So I'm gonna try to find something to pull this out and hopefully re-straighten it. That's going to do it. Is it moving? Getting a little straighter. Yeah, I think it still needs to go more. All right. 
side. I think that looks pretty straight. I did it. So look at this. Brand new grease gun. I've never had a full size grease gun before. I'm very proud of this. It wasn't very expensive. I think I paid about 25 bucks on Amazon for it. And now we can go around and we can grease up all the spots in the lawnmower. Hit the front verticals. Now I'm just going to hit the mower deck and go around to the back. Headlights work. test the mower. I'm uh, very happy with the way it performed. I'm not going to worry about the, the chute coming out the side of the deck. I looked into it. It's going to cost about $80 to get all the parts and I don't think it has enough significance. So thanks for uh, joining me on Dylan's Garage. Make sure to like and subscribe so you get notification on our next project and I look forward to making another video for you guys. Catch you later.